What's up YouTube, Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth. I'm surprised that nobody's brought this up to me. I never actually finished artificial intelligence series. We did an entire series of videos on high growth artificial intelligence stocks. And I made this list back in July. I had the list before I started making the videos and never actually got to the top few stocks. Today I'm gonna cover what I considered the number one artificial intelligence company, number one artificial intelligence stock, high growth stock. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen these other artificial intelligence videos, there's an entire series. Subscribe to the channel, go look at the playlist. I promise you won't be disappointed with the stocks in this artificial intelligence series. So the number one stock, number one, what is it? Get to it in a second. Before I do that, guys, AI, it's important to understand there's different types of AI. Sometimes you just get laser focused on one type of AI. There's neural networks, machine learning, robotics, deep learning. There's even different types of machine learning, problem solving. We talked about this in the intro of the series. So if you want a little bit more background on AI and the different types of artificial intelligence, go check again that series on the channel, okay, that playlist. So what is number one? It's Tesla. Tesla is the number one artificial intelligence company, in my opinion, in the world, and this video today is gonna to hopefully show you why I feel that way. So this is really cool stuff, guys. You're gonna to wanna to see this. So AI. So Tesla basically crowdsources data from both its vehicles and from the actual drivers. Now, a lot of people know about the vehicle data, but a lot of people don't know about the driver data. It uses internal sensors, so sensors within the car, as well as external sensors outside of the car. And these sensors measure information about the driver, these internal ones, such as their hand placement and just overall operation of the vehicle. It takes this data and it links it back to Tesla at the mothership and it shares that information. We'll, we'll talk more about what it does with that information. Now, what's really cool about this, there's a research company called McKinsey and Company. They estimate that the total addressable market, the TAM for vehicle analytics, just for vehicle analytics, to be worth $750 billion by 2030. So $750 billion total addressable market, just for the data, the, the analytics, the total addressable market. That's a massive amount of money. And a lot of people might not understand how important this is and maybe just how far ahead of the pack Tesla is in this game. So Tesla really has three different types of AI we're gonna talk about. So Tesla's data generates detailed maps that can measure traffic speed, local hazards, things like that, communicates that back to the fleet. Machine learning in the cloud updates Tesla's entire fleet with that data. And at the individual car level, this is really cool, edge computing is leveraged for real-time decisions in the moment. In addition, there's a third type of AI. I didn't know anything about this until I started researching. Essentially, the third type of AI allows vehicles to create networks with other nearby Tesla vehicles to share insights and local information. Almost like a local area network where cars around you in the neighborhood or in, in the general location you're at can share data. So if there's something, there's construction or traffic speed is slow, something like that, it actually can share from a nearby vehicle to your vehicle to help improve your overall experience. Now the details are, are obviously kept secret, you know, inside intellectual property, they wanna keep their competition out of the know. But we do know that Tesla's current AI is driven by a partnership with NVIDIA, another reason why I'm so bullish on NVIDIA. And this is primarily based on unsupervised machine learning. And again, if you have not seen this artificial intelligence series, there's an entire series of videos. In the very beginning, we talk about the different types of AI. We even talk about the different types of machine learning. So go check out the series. Now, Tesla from day one, since their inception, They've always taken data collection and analytics very seriously. And honestly, guys, the competition's not even close. And this is something that's really significant to note as a potential investor. And it, I think it's something that's probably just overlooked or maybe misunderstood by most people. All right, I'm gonna take you into Eric's world a little bit here, into my world, when I kind of just go down rabbit holes and I'll just research for hours. I've always been this way. I'm a person that likes to have information and just I seek information and knowledge. That's just the way I'm, I'm wired. And so I, I, I probably spent, I don't know, four or five hours going through and just looking at different reports from Tesla, different statistics. I want to share some that I think are interesting with you. So how many miles of driving data does Tesla have? I wasn't able to find exactly what I was looking for, but it gives you an idea. This is where Tesla has a huge advantage, it says here. According to Bloomberg report, Tesla has amassed an incredible 1.3 billion miles 
in data thanks to its autopilot equipped vehicles. I think it's probably higher than that now. I also want to share this one. This is from December 7th, so it's pretty new. One crash per 4.41 million miles traveled on autopilot. I've got my camera slid way over so you can see this whole thing. This is autopilot safety. So that very top one, that's autopilot on, and you can see autopilot off, but active safety features on. And then the bottom one is everything off. So you can see that the car actually is a better driver than most humans. You can see Musk here, he tweeted on December 6th, Tesla publishes accident statistics quarterly. They are so much better than other vehicles, it is ridiculous. To make that data meaningful, in the second quarter, they recorded, we already talked about this, one crash for every 4.41 million miles. That's, that's pretty crazy, actually. Now, if you look at this by comparison, most recent data in the US, there's an auto crash, a car accident, every 484,000 miles. So, I mean, obviously, if you take 484,000, right, and you take it times times 10, pretty easy math, 4,840,000, it's almost 10x better. Not quite, because we're at 4.41 million, but darn near 10x better using Tesla Autopilot. So I think it, it's safe to say that autonomous vehicles are the future. I think most people would agree. I think the problem is, is when people don't understand it and they compare all EVs as the same. So you say like, well, there's a lot of competition from these other EVs. Well, there might be electric vehicles, but do they have the ability to be fully autonomous? I'm not saying Tesla's the only one, but when you look at their AI and the data they have, they're way ahead of their competition. And I think that's an important thing to understand. That competitive advantage is going to be significant when you think about that first mover advantage and just, you know, they're light years ahead of the competition. So not all EVs are created equal and you have to make sure you understand that when you're making those comparisons. October 22nd, first look at Tesla full self-driving beta, and it looks insane. I wanna show you a couple of these videos here. So full self-driving is an early limited access beta. It must be used with additional caution, okay? It may do the wrong thing at the worst time, so you must always keep your hands on the wheel and pay extra attention to the road. Do not become complacent. Tesla also confirmed the details. It says when full dri self-driving is enabled, your vehicle will make lane changes off highway, select forks to follow your navigation route, and so on. Use full self-driving in limited beta only if you will pay constant attention to the road and be prepared to act immediately. So this is beta, okay? So they're in early stages. Eventually it's gonna roll out. And let's just look at a couple of the videos of the actual cars in action. So here's a tweet here. It says, it's real. This is part of the development UI and it's beta. It's a real short video here. I wanna show you a couple of these video clips. So here's another one. Overly cautious at a roundabout. I didn't have to interact until the end of the process. Not bad for the first attempt. Go FSD beta. So you can see he's going around this roundabout. And voila. The future is coming. FSD beta is here. I hope Tesla makes progress to get this out to more people soon. Full intersection rendering on the dev UI is incredible. I didn't have any interaction other than modifying my following distance. So pretty cool stuff here. You can see real time he's recording this. I think it's just important to to get a glimpse of this as a potential investor to see what's going on here for the future. This is the future of, you know, of Tesla. It's the future of vehicles overall. And Tesla, in my mind, is the leader in not only EV, but also autonomous driving in that AI piece. Here's another one, very difficult to get a shot. I'll get a better video soon. It turned on the signal, waited for the car and pedestrians, which is a good thing, right? At night, incredible work, Tesla. And you can see on his screen there, there's different sensors that are actually locating everything around him. And I've actually been in a vehicle like this in Las Vegas. It was a test vehicle for a lift and it wasn't Tesla um, autonomous capabilities, but it was very similar to this. And it actually took me around Las Vegas autonomously. There was a driver there that kind of had their hands on the wheel and they were ready to jump in in case something happened. But it's pretty cool. If you think of like semiconductors and you ask, you know, why are you so bullish in semiconductors? I mean, semiconductors are the new oil. And you think of not just Tesla, but any car maker, really, anything you use from your phones, computers, microphones, everything. I mean, even some toasters and microwaves and dishwashers and everything you use, basically, kids' toys, has some sort of semiconductor in it. Think of how many sensors and how many pieces of semiconductor equipment have to go into a vehicle like this when it's fully autonomous. 
Now this is Tesla's website. I think it's important just to take a quick glance and I, I encourage you to go look at this on your own and read through it all. But I just wanna give you the bullets here. So when you think of artificial intelligence and autopilot, we develop and deploy autonomy at scale in vehicles, robots, and more. So it's not just necessarily about vehicles in the future. We believe that an approach based on advanced AI for vision and planning supported by efficient use of hardware is the only way to achieve a general solution for full self-driving and beyond. So this is all part of that puzzle. FSD chips. So they're building AI chips to run their self-driving cars. So I know they've partnered with NVIDIA. I don't know what that looks like in the future, how that all goes together. They are trying to really develop everything in-house, I think at some point. The Dojo chip, building AI training chips to power our Dojo system. Really cool stuff. Their Dojo systems, their neural networks, autonomy algorithms, code foundations, evaluation infrastructure, and then of course the Tesla bot. And some people argue that they're not actually going to build this. It was just kind of a display. It was for show. And that could be, but the whole point is they're trying to make, and the message they did get across is that Tesla is more than just a vehicle company. It's also an artificial intelligence company. Model S Plaid, guys, there you go. 1.9 seconds, 1.99 seconds, zero to 60, 200 miles an hour, 1,020 horsepower in the range, 396 miles. They've got a lot of their stuff that they're trying to, to get done and they get a lot of criticism because they keep pushing it back with the cyber truck. You've got semis. There's a lot more to the company. You think of their solar as well. Today, I just really wanted to focus on the AI part. If this video is helpful, smash the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell to get notifications, check out Patreon, follow me on Twitter and everywhere else. I'm on TikTok and all the platforms. I appreciate your time and attention. Hope you have a great holiday season. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.